Flanders is something uh, now it's coming for weeks, for weeks, for weeks, and then it's suddenly there. And these are special races. I think you have to feel them, you have to breathe them, and if you see them as a kid, yeah, they definitely inspire you. I still can imagine when I get my first bike, and I was happy as a kid. And but, you know, I was always riding with my brother for a lot, so you know, you're riding a bit against each other, and it's nice, you know, some uh, competition. And yeah, as a young rider, you know, we have examples, and then uh, you can learn a lot from them as well. So it's something special. These are my training roads, uh, I'm always riding on these roads. I'm, I live really close to them, so I know them, I know them really well, and yeah, this make, makes it special. These races, they inspire you, you know, and all families come to the race, you know, and uh, you have other races that only the cycling fans are there, and, and then you have Flanders, and everybody, everybody comes to watch it. The country is, is living it, you know, living the race, and everybody feels it, and, it's unpredictable and that's also really something really nice I think for the spectators to watch. It's 260k, a lot of climbs, small roads, narrow roads, cobbled roads, you know. You have a lot of spectators beside the road also, you know, it creates an atmosphere but it's also an impact and um, it's like a roller coaster. You can be lucky to win Tour of Flanders, you know, the race is super hard so the winner is somebody like a real Flanderian they call him, you know. I think Flanderians are guys who have a clear vision, they know what they want. You have to be a strong character. It's not so easy. <laughs> Those are the races you do it for, you know. That's why you live for, that's why you train for, that's why you sacrifice for. It means something and that's why, why we love it.